The Justice Society is planning a final assault against Degaton and Savage's stronghold. Meet up with Lady Blackhawk and do what you can to stop that megalomaniacal duo. Society of America. I guess maybe because the Justice Society of Hoboken was taken. Yeah. That's as good as the jokes get, so you better laugh. After discovering I was living multiple lives throughout history, Fighting crime and protecting the innocent from evil just seemed to come naturally. Reports of other masked heroes began to pop up in the newspapers, and forming a team just seemed to be inevitable. I'd run across Jay and Alan, and even Ted in my travels. So after our paths all crossed, we decided to join forces, calling ourselves the Justice Society of America. Um, unfortunately, Shaira was, uh, not allowed to join. A gross misjudgment on our part. Anyway, we had an adventure or two, but soon found ourselves fighting with the brave men and women of the Allied forces against the villainous rise of fascism across the globe. Never let it be said the JSA did not do its part. and I had just rediscovered our powers after reincarnating during the early part of the 20th century. We had some trial and error at first, and I had to overcome the way this society treats women, especially when it comes to danger and fighting. But I proved myself soon enough and took the mantle of Hawk Girl to fight alongside Hawkman. After Carter was invited to join the Justice Society of America, I was left to find a team of my own due to some good old-fashioned chauvinism on the part of a few members of the JSA. Luckily, the All-Star Squadron didn't have the same foolish hang-ups. That changed once the war broke out and President Roosevelt decreed that those of us with special powers must all work together for the Allies to stop the Axis powers from taking over the world. That, and they let Wonder Woman in, so, yeah. I remind them of that when I'm saving their butts all the time. Kandak is a neutral nation. As Ted Adam and ruler, it is my duty to keep my people safe. At the beginning of this conflict, I was content to let it play out and deal with the victors once they emerged. But I soon realized the danger of that decision as one side's forces swept across Europe like a plague of old. Soon I knew it would land on my doorstep and my people would suffer while Kandak remains safely neutral. I, Black Adam, fight against the Axis powers to bring the blight of fascism to an end! Themyscira had remained peacefully apart from the world of men for centuries. As queen of the Amazons, I made sure my warriors kept their presence secret whenever they left the island. While we faced threats from gods and monsters, the mortal world mostly passed us by. 
This was the way of things and how I preferred it, until this great conflagration sucked us in like an unlucky ship in the grasp of the great kraken. As queen, I could no longer ignore the danger the outside world presented to our life and our duty on Themyscira. I took up the mantle of Wonder Woman, champion of the Amazons, and entered the fray. Be it God or man, I shall not abide freedom falling under the boot heel of despots. I discovered the wave of authoritarian inhumanity sweeping across the world and joined the side fighting against it. Soon, the Justice Society asked me to join. I was hesitant, fighting alongside such strangers, but they were committed to ending this war, so I became one of them. One or two of the team were also not without their... charm. Force X is taking control of this situation. I'm sending in the Suicide Squad to assist you. I assure you that those mercenaries will comply. force has made it past our first lines of defense. Put a stop to these fools, Herr Sauer. I'll stick around and make sure this is done right. Yes, sir. On your orders.
just getting started. as the greatest conqueror of all time! Steak dinner goes to whoever brings me either the Degatons or Von Savage's sidearm. Messing with a Blackhawk is a bad idea. Face down. This is where your little offensive ends. The Allies have put up a valiant effort to no avail. Baron Von Savage shall rule. I don't think so, Baron. My pals and I are here to make sure you get the old heave-ho once and for all! You will submit to my rule. Well, you will pay for that. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
sense into yourself. This little venture is making even my head hurt. Don't grovel down there, Baron. We have much to discuss. What is this? Some kind of illusion? I will not be fooled by some parlor trick. We are one in the same. Perdegatons is a sinking ship. He talks of greatness, but he is merely bluster. I know failure is a spear to the ego, but destiny will shine upon us. Ah, I see. Yes, destiny shall indeed shine bright. I knew that if anyone could get through to me, it was me. Now, help this freedom force stop Perdegaton. You always did have a flair for the dramatic, haven't you, Savage? We need to go. I'm gonna say so long too, fellas. This is where I get off this train. I'm heading up the effort to disarm some of this base's deadliest weapons. Never miss a chance to blow stuff up, I always say. Good luck, and really suck it to Pear Degaton. Easy there, Polly. We still have to fight our way through Savage's troops. Speaking of, what are you all doing with this joke bag of donuts? Well, if you say we need him, then who am I to argue? I ain't the brains of this operation. Why are you disobeying orders, soldier? these miscreants. What is it you say? A thing or two. Ah, Polly. You know all the right things to say to get a fella good and wild up. Let's dance. Getting tired over there, Wildcat? I know how hard it is keeping up with Wonder Woman. Okay. Well, if I gotta be shown up by you, I'd rather it be you. Certainly ain't gonna be any of these jumps. You shall be punished for striking a superior. You should know that I monitor every room in this base, Baron. So of course, I had to activate the failsafe switch in your mechanical mercenaries to force their loyalty to me once you made your treacherous intentions clear. Well played, Perdegaton. Given different circumstances, I do think our alliance would have borne glorious fruit. Alas, I have been shown another way forward, and it doesn't involve you. So you're going to try and stop me? To stop history being rewritten? <laughs> you ancient fool! The ravages of time have made you weak and blind with petty ambition. Why rule the world when you can rule all of time? Damn, can you idiots jabber? Are we gonna knuckle dust or what? Cause I'm ready for some payback for all the poking and prodding that was done to me here. With interest. Just try and stop me. I can live between the seconds. Not 
neutralize the tachyons from those cybernetic soldiers' backpacks to bring Perdegaton back into phase with time. It is the only way to hurt him permanently. Huh. Enough gloating, Vonnie. You should be thankful you didn't tear the fabric of space and time apart at the seams. Yes, Baron. Gloating is unnecessary at the moment. Now come, let us chat before I must return to my point in history. I shall not be forgotten. Phew. That was a close one. I'm not sure what happened to the Spear of Destiny. We couldn't locate it after all the dust settled. Well... That's a problem for another time. Thanks for all your help. The time stream would have collapsed in on itself without you. Still plenty to do cleaning up the mess. Defeating Per Degaton here today should prevent the collapse Rip of reality in on itself. This to be a for now. I'll let him have his moment of triumph. The fool. In a hundred years, it will make my final victory all the more savory. 